James Lockhart, director of the Federal Housing Finance Agency, says he will step down from the post later this month. George W. Bush's longtime friend, Lockhart currently regulates mortgage finance companies Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. According to a Treasury official, there is no long-term replacement lined up yet. Bloomberg's Don Capecchi just got off the phone with Lockhart, and she is standing by live in our Washington bureau. Uh, Don, why did Lockhart say he was leaving now? He said that this is basically a good time for him to go. He's been a lifelong and devout Republican, and he had intended to resign shortly after Obama was elected president. But because things were so bad, he stayed on longer. Now that the housing markets appear to be stabilizing somewhat in his mind, and Freddie Mac has a new CEO, he said it's time for him to go. So what's this mean for the company's oversight? I mean, how does this continue? It probably doesn't mean anything um, as far as changing their oversight or what's required of them. Lockhart worked very closely with the Obama administration and pretty much carried out everything the Obama administration wanted for the companies. And so any kind of a successor they appoint for, for Lockhart is going to do the same thing. They're basically being run by the Treasury Department now because they're so dependent on Treasury for money to stay alive. So does this change anything then for investors, I mean, other than the big jumps they saw in the share price today? Probably not. Um, when I spoke with analysts, they don't think that this changes anything with regards to what the companies are going to be required to do. And more, moreover, Congress is going to rework these companies next year. When they get back next year, Congress and the Obama administration both said that they, the companies need a new structure. Whatever they are today is not going to be what they will be in a year. All right, Don, thanks so much for joining us, talking about James Lockhart stepping down. Uh, in any case, we did see a 30% gain in both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac shares today.